how's it hanging fellow Sam Otosha? This is another episode of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and in today's episode you may be wondering Otosh, what the fuck are you doing in heaven? Well, I'm not in heaven. I am the handle of my axe and the top of my head are the highest peak of all of Tamriel at this moment because I climbed the highest point of High Trothgard. Parthenax is over there. We had a lovely chat with him uh, last episode, we talked with him for a while. He told us to go find an Elder Scrolls V, and we're gonna look for it. I'll have to check it out on the ground. The pattern of snow kind of repeats, and there's like a grid. I hate whenever I fucking notice that about graphics and video games. You know, a couple of episodes ago, I told you that I am. Well, actually, I mentioned it multiple times throughout this playthrough that I am a self proclaimed master of walking down mountains in Skyrim. That people, if they wanted to go down a mountain, they would even straight up reach out to me to do it for them when I, were, when I was playing the game with friends. But to prove it, I'm gonna walk down High Trough Guard without dying. And I'm gonna take this path because it looks the most fucking dangerous. So there you go, instead of teleporting down like a normal person would, I am going to walk all the way down. And I'm going to take the more dangerous routes too, just to prove it, so I can officially say that I really am the self-proclaimed master of walking down mountains. And then I'll put it in my CV, and then when I'll be in a job interview, they'll ask about my special talents, and I'll fucking say that I'm really good at walking down mountains. Now that I think about it, that is a pretty good skill to... To have. I mean, pretty good. How often do you walk down a mountain? Unless you live in mountains, then probably very often. But if you don't, then what's the big deal? You know what? I was thinking this would be way more fucking difficult. I was thinking I would be like falling off and dying and it would be like a funny thing. But now I'm just kind of walking. I'm not even doing anything special, I'm just kind of walking forward. I like the 4,000 4, steps. Oh, there we go. That's getting a little steep. SSX tricky. I was about to say, that doesn't count that I get hurt. I'm If I die, fucking, I lose the title forever. Now that I think about it, what the fuck did my friends get such a problem with walking down mountains in this game? Look, we walked down all this fucking thing. It's pretty impressive. Oh, there's like a ancient tomb over there. It's a what the fuck is that? Ah, oh, this mountain isn't even dangerous anymore. I can sprint down this mountain right now. That's not as exciting. Oh look, this is an unexplored location. I've never been here. Let's go and see what it is. Found something. See, it worked out. I, that's what I love about Skyrim. Sometimes you just kind of run into things. Like I just did. I run into this thing. There's like a cheat code in the game, I think, where you can... No, there's no cheat code, but there is a mod I could have installed. Which is called... Norse kind of watch. It's like a watchtower? It you does? A time to get lost, where are they? Oh, they're inside. I thought it was like a... I thought this place was like a big... Like a tomb, or like a down dungeon, that's what I meant. Oh, you guys are so fucking low level, you don't even deal any damage. How is this supposed to be approached normally? Oh, I guess it's just kind of, there's like a road leading somewhere here. There's some creepy shit that way, don't want to know what that is. And they took over this really cozy looking watch. And they just kind of hung out. Played card games and stuff. Like a boss monster. Oh, bummer. Everybody lost their heads. What happened? Who came through? And I leave so much evidence against me. It'll be like an investigation. The one thing all the victims have in common is a decapitated head. Now, who could it be? None other than Jeezy motherfucking B, that's right. Only he. But there was a door here, though. 
somewhere. Over here. Maybe that leads somewhere cool. No, it's a pass. I'll pass to where? Probably enemies here though. Over here! <laughs> Oh look, Iona joined up. How's it going, Iona? You know what Skyrim does scales up with you as you play the game? Oh. The rolling where is it? The rolling head triggered the trap mechanism and fucking warned me of it. Nice. Damn you. See what a good game? Yona, what the fuck, bro? Shit was so easy to avoid and you walked into it. Oh, uh, do I have the skull key? I do, check it out. We're gonna fucking keep this little beauty because you know what it does? It, it never breaks. I can just fuck around with locks now. And I don't have to worry about breaking the fucking key. Because I got the motherfucking skull key. I can pretty much max out my lock picking with this little fucking thing. It's the best fucking item ever. I'm never returning it. Well, no, I think I will return it at some point. I'll return it somewhere like close to the end of this play. Whoa, shit. Let's play through. That's a cool fucking dead piece. It's like a tunnel. There's like a little bit of light coming through. A bunch of spider webs, and then there's like a spider just kind of sitting there. All scary and menacing. I guess if I went this way, this would have looked much cooler. I don't see Hilda. Is she still chilling with partner next? She's kind of trying to seduce him. I thought, I thought I'd block him. You can't block arrows like that, it's just really hard. You know, they have to shoot you in a handle of a weapon. This is honest. You made me waste so much stamina, bro. Cringe. You know what I did at work today? I did fucking puzzles. We had, and I'm not joking, 900 uh, yellow plates with numbers on them, and they had to be paired up. You know, like, well, the numbers went up to 450, and of each number there was a pair and we had to pair it up also i got a monster here it's an ultra blue monster let's see it if this one was any good i don't think so if i'm being honest uh it's kind of sweet like a little bit too sweet i don't know it tastes like fucking candy what i don't i can't say i'm a big fan it's not bad. I don't know. I was way harsher on these monsters. Maybe my taste buds just fucking went numb. And now I can't fucking tell. No, I don't think so. Because I can fucking taste it. Just that for some reason, the first time around when I was drinking all these monsters and I never drank them before, some of them I straight up disliked and hated. Somebody misplaced an asset here. Or maybe they should have flipped it around. I don't know. I think Todd Howard did it, he like walked up to somebody's PC and he was like, I'll flip the asset. That'd be funny. And then what? That employee got fired and he could never feed his family ever again. His wife had to go to work, had a nice job at Bethesda, but then Todd Howard fucked everything up. Fucking asshole, is he making that Indiana Jones game or not? Did he ever even seen the movies? I bet he never fucking seen Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, though. Some people say, like, oh, the... F there's four Indiana Jones movies, they're making a fifth one. Bro, there's like 20-something Indiana Jones movies. Just never seen the other ones. Uh-oh. What on earth? That's cool. Scary. Alright, so I went into a pass. Where the fuck am I now? Okay, and when did I... Where did I enter? 
No, that wasn't it. I walked down the mountain of High Trothgard. I kind of kept walking down. And I walked into this thing. That I now cannot... Oh, there it is. Oh, look, I should have taken this path. Much more dangerous. Well, whatever. I still hit. I still hold the title, though. I am the master of walking down mountains. That's dope. Finally, I got got the chance to prove it. Even though it's not a big deal, but whatever. It's a big deal to me. Also, maybe I should just teleport and do a quest because I'm just kind of walking. Who the fuck knows where I'm going? Look, a horsey. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Horsey, wait! I wanted to help you. He seemed distressed. Where's it going? It's leading me somewhere. Along a path. And a fox friend? Oh my god, they're leading me together. Where am I to go, friends? Clearly some Daedra is behind this and is pulling the strings to... Make these animals guide me in a direction God fucking knows where they're going. At least the horsey, because I think the fox got confused and left. Horsey, wait! Where are we going? You, whatever that place? I don't feel like going there, though. Oh, who's this? Have I been destined to meet this character? Horsey, is this what you wanted to show me? Who the fuck are you? It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? See ya. I really wish there was an alternative method to uh, find that quest that I wanted to... Oh my god, what if there is? You know that fuck... Oh man, what? you know that quest that I've been talking about so much? About... Uh, that Daedra that you're supposed... Like, in Falkreath, you're meant to talk to a blacksmith, and he's supposed to tell you that there's been a report of a dog wandering outside of Falkreath. And that he's a little bit worried that the dog might get in trouble. So then you tell the fucking guy that, okay, you're gonna deal with this. And then... Then you meet the dog... And it turns out the dog is named Barbus, and he leads you somewhere. Is this? Where am I even going anymore? What is this place? It said it says cavern when I look at it, but it says shame on the map. What a fucked up episode. That's not where I meant to go. Vampires. They. Pray to Eastmere. All right, you know what I want to do now? I want to find, because at the end of that quest, all oh, the horse is gone. That's what you wanted to show me. Never mind, there he is. I'm gonna catch you. Oh, I caught him. Nice. Fuck this thing. Okay, it's like Red Dead Two. Get it, I get it, tame in a whore. Oh shit! <laughs> Launched me back, I just fucking ragged all that of the horse. Damn it, you turned me into third person. Imperial business, be on your way. What business? I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. This is such a nice fucking place, though. I love this fucking little place. God damn it, I'm somehow. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Why am I going this direction? What is none of my concern? What are you guys fucking looking at? Imperial business. Be on your way. Yeah, what? Stand at fucking rocks? Fucking stare at him all you want. I don't give a shit. Look how beautiful this place is. What a stupid episode. I'm not even doing anything. Walking around admiring the views. Taking it back, you know. I'm gonna make this 
let's play 200 episodes long, but if I'm fucking gonna do shit like that, just fucking chill. Just, just walking around Skyrim, you know. It would have been nice if I was playing Skyrim VR, but I'm not. If I'm being honest with you, I don't, I don't know, have a need to boot up any VR games. I did wanted to make like Astrobot play, let's play. So like a let's play entirely out of a VR game. You know, we left a really fancy looking fucking place. I found a house though. What I'm gonna look up now. And we're gonna try to get to it. It's the location of oh, fucking goddammit. It's the location of that. What is going on? Um. They dying or not? Oh look, it's my my axe I hit a couple of episodes ago. A couple, a bunch of episodes ago. Okay, fair. Black matches with the girl. All right, what I want to do now is, uh, let me fucking look it up. I'll look this up like the Skyrim Barbus Quest. Oh, wait, 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 how about... Dangerous Best Friend. I look up Skyrim Daedra's best friend, which is the name of the quest uh, But the blacksmith is dead His name was Lod, so we definitely never met anybody named Lod They just but fuck off. I hate browsing reddit and my phone would always ask me like do you want to download reddit app? No, I fucking don't Uh, and the read of the guy's quest data is best friend. I never heard of the quest before. I'm level 57. I show up to Falkyrie looking for Lord only to find him dead on the ground. Presumably killed by a dragon. Is there any way I can start this quest? If possible, where do I find Barbus the dog? That didn't fucking work. We looked for Barbus a bunch. And that didn't work. Somebody said that perhaps the dog might show up without log but that doesn't seem to be the case god damn it this fuck I hate it Old discussion. There you go. There is no other way to trigger the quest if if he's fucking dead. Now I want to see something else. Let me see. Because the reason I give a fuck about that is. I want the axe you get at the end of the quest line. Why is combat music playing? What did we do? Now what is this axe called? Oh, the cave we went into for a second? That is the cave where the quest takes you. Okay. Tell him other things to meet him there. Should you choose not to meet him and blah blah blah. Then you will find him a machine that's very far from Falkreed. Along the way, you will have to deal with the enemies. Blah 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 blah. Travel. Uh, 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 level vampires worship someone. Just fight your way through. Blah blah blah. If you need, let's see which the room.
Okay, it's called Roofful Axe. Axe. Ways to get. I typed in ways to get. <laughs> oh, nice. Blah, blah, blah. Damage pretty shitty. Also, instead, you can also get, have some kind of mask instead of the axe. And yeah, it seems like you cannot obtain it. It's not like it's in a chest or anything. It's all—it's a quest reward. You will get it from the statue. God damn it. You know what we can do? We can at least go through this fucking dungeon. Maybe. I only got nine minutes left on the clock. Fucking around this entire episode. Better than the episode where I was looking for a city that doesn't fucking exist. What was it called? Oakwood. You're Fuck mine. Oakwood. Well, it used to exist. Yeah, there's vampires in here. Pretty low level from what I see. Jesus Christ. What is with me launching enemies when I decapitate them recently? Minor health, who needs that? Yeah, so we had 450 pieces. 450 numbers and 900 pieces in total that we had to match. And they were all like little red plates with the numbers. <laughs> Cut it out in them. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Time for me to die. There you go. Oh no, Seljan pathetic enough to fill your shit, you fucking soul. Heard that? What a lame fucking cave. Not even a quest related fucking place. Hello? Who's there? You know what? Well, that fucking quest is pretty much the only reason why you might actually go to this area because otherwise there's no really. Whoa, chill the fuck out. I hate when this happens. And I hate when I'm dying too, that sucks. What are you doing here, slave? I mean, Sim. Simp and so vampire girls? Her? Some e fart? Because what, she has her titties out? Aw, oh, man. Gotta learn to fucking have some higher standards than that. Can't lower your standards, guys. Remember that. You'll end up with some bitch for the rest of your life. Or like some people who say that straight up, like, I think this might be the dumbest thing you can decide, which is that you just want to fucking be with someone or you'll be alone for the rest of your life. I don't know. Maybe you want to fucking wait a day or two longer just to fucking. Not settle with any bitch. Whoa, what a block. Epically blocked, I'll give you that. Nice haircut. I'll oh, fuck you. Give me compliments and that's who you repay me. Oh, my backpack is being cut into pieces. I did it, I beat her. I won. So that... Oh, they're resurrecting the corpses. I see now. I wonder how much wine I'm fucking keeping with me again. So much equipment sp space wasted because I just pick up wine sometimes. I don't think this is gonna end up with like me getting to talk to the Daedra God and... And he'll be like, oh, you went to the dungeon, that's cool. Here's an axe. Oh, I dodged your shitty missile. Look kind of cool with the hood on. Blowing eyes. My axe. I just run into like one of you. You know, there was like this vampire who attacked me outside of that weird house we run into. 
Is she a dark elf? She's blacker than me, and I'm already black. Alright, Hilda, you can't carry anymore because you're fucking fat. But I think Yona can still carry some shit. You stopped. What is it? How can I serve you, my Thane? You can. Uh, take my shit. You can have this. You can have... Not much else from what I see. Oh fuck. I can't even give you this. Can't give you shit. Ah oh, damn it. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go. Hilda, maybe you're not carrying anything. That actually is though, damn it. You're not even carrying that much. Can't you carry like a little bit more? Did you have a bow? Ah, damn it. I guess I can give you this. And that's it. I think I used up Hilda to her f to her full potential. Gotta really get rid of some trash. Maybe what I can get rid of is... Uh, all these stupid dragon bones I might be carrying in my equipment. Cause I always, I'm always carrying some. Ooh, these are worth a lot of money. Should I sell them? I think I should. Damn it, it seems like they really want me to fucking get rid of something. Something. What should I get rid of? Well, not my weapons. Not the pickaxe is a unique weapon. I'm not getting rid of this. This elven bow is also unique. I ain't getting rid of it. Not getting rid of the, rid of the blade armor. That's too... Special. I guess I can get rid of this. Oh, come on. It's one fucking point. I don't know what the fuck is with this. I picked it up from my chest, and now all of a sudden they act as if they're stolen, and I can't fucking use them. And it just makes me wonder, like, what the fuck are these fucking gloves anyway? Hmm. Guess I could get rid of that fucking orca shield I picked up for not, no good reason. Alright, no more picking up stuff. I, I should sell some in between episodes. How long is this episode? Alright, maybe we can go through this fucking place? Ah, it goes deeper. That's the shame part. I'm ashamed of this episode. Well, I'm doing something. It's not like I'm... Well, I'm not moving the plot forward though, I'm like kind of fucking around. I'm desperately trying to maybe get that quest that is unavailable to me on track. Even though I'm pretty goddamn 100% certain that this is not gonna fucking make anything. Like, it's not not like the Daedra is gonna speak to me just because I fucking showed up here. He would speak to me if I triggered the quest correctly. If I found Barbas, if I talked with him because he's a talking dog, and then I brought Barbas all the way here to this fucking dungeon, and then he would speak to the his master as, if, as he calls him. And it's like, it's all because fucking Falkreed decided to go crazy and fucking all the guards in Falkreed went ape shit. Why did they though? I don't know. They just did. Oh, what the fuck is this? Why is this so cool? I don't even know what this is. Can I have it though? Oh, it didn't make me over carry. That's nice. <laughs> Wrong vampire. I meant to hit this one. Oh, he's like a tougher vampire. Massive vampire. Oh man, he's being wailed on. Oh, Yona, you made the fucking vampire run away. Destroy these other ones. This little bitch is running away. I think I can't see you, motherfucker. No. 
Got a unique death sound. Blood Hunter's mask. I don't know what that is, but taking the. I see how this looks. That's pretty cool. Not sure what the fuck is this guy. Was he just like a special edition bot, little boss edition over here? Had a unique hood and everything. Oh, she did too. Anyway, I guess that's not unique. Well, I never seen them before, and this uh, vampire to the left that I killed had a unique bow. Episode ended as I got interrupted. That's nice, but check it out. We found the statue. That I probably can't interact with anyway, so who the fuck cares? Let's see you fellas in the next episode, bye.